Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to simplify this given uh, rational expression that involves a bunch of uh, nested radicals. As you can see over here, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, numerator part. And here I have copied it down and we are going to simplify this one uh, first and now let's focus on uh, this one this is our radical notation and uh, this one is our exponential notation so this uh, nth root of a could be written as a power 1 divided by n and if we are dealing with this uh, square root of a by default its index is 2 so therefore this could be written as a power 1 divided by 2 so therefore in our case this square root of x could be written as x power 1 over 2. So therefore I can write this one as square root of x times the square root of x times I'm going to replace this part by x power 1 over 2 and now let's recall this product rule of exponents we are going to simplify this part x times x power 1 over 2 and here I have copied it down and now let's go ahead and multiply this one by using this uh, product rule and here x is same as x power 1 so therefore by using this product rule this could be written as x power 1 plus uh, 1 divided by 2 and if we add this one that is going to give us x power 3 divided by 2 so therefore I am going to replace uh, this whole part uh, by x power 3 over 2 so therefore I can write uh, this uh, square root of x times this uh, square root of uh, x power 3 divided by 2 and now let's focus on uh, this uh, whole part this could be written as x power 3 divided by 2 and this uh, radical notation means we are going to take power 1 divided by 2 as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's recall this power rule of exponents we are going to apply on uh, this part so that means we are going to multiply out uh, these uh, two nested uh, exponents so therefore this could be written as the square root of x times when we multiply these two nested exponents that's going to give us x power 3 divided by 4 and now let's focus on this uh, inside this radical part and here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and multiply them out and here x could be written as x uh, power 1 and now let's recall this product rule once again we are going to apply over here to simplify this one so therefore this could be written as x power 1 plus 3 divided by 4 and here I have simplified this one this one could be written as 4 divided by 4 so therefore this has been simplified to x power 7 divided by 4 so therefore I am going to replace this whole thing by this x power 7 divided by 4 so therefore we are ended up with the square root of x power 7 divided by 4 and now this could be written as once again x power 7 divided by 4 and this radical means power 1 over 2 and now let's recall this power rule once again we are going to apply over here so we are going to multiply out these two nested exponents so therefore this could be simplified as x power 7 divided by at the denominator 4 times 2 is 8 so therefore we can see that our this numerator part has been simplified to x power 7 divided by 8 so therefore I'm going to write down this x power 7 divided by 8 divided by this x in the denominator now once again at the denominator this x is same as x power 1 and now let's recall this quotient rule of exponents I'm going to move this numerator part at the denominator so therefore this could be written as 1 divided by x power 1 minus this thing I'm going to write down 7 
divided by 8. And now let's go ahead and simplify this uh, denominator part. And here I have copied it down. And here 1 could be written as 8 divided by 8. So therefore if we simplify everything it turns out to be equal to x power 1 over 8. So therefore our de this denominator has been simplified to this one. So therefore this whole thing could be written as 1 divided by x power 1 divided by 8. And now let's recall this basic rule once again. So that means this x power 1 over 8 could be written as the 8th root of x. So therefore we can write this thing 1 divided by the 8th root of x. And that's our simplified answer to this given expression. And here's our simplified answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.